it all comes down to this. The Portland Thorns and Kansas City Current for the 2022 Ally NWSL Championship. Two teams that have taken vastly different roads to get here. The Portland Thorns were expected to get to this point. They have a great mix of youth and experience, and they led the league in goals scored, including 22-year-old phenom Sophia Smith breaking the club record with 14 goals this season. But in the semifinal round, when Portland was tied late and in extra time, an unlikely source played the role of hero. That was Crystal Dunn's first goal of the season for the Thorns, who came off the bench to score one of the biggest goals in club history. And speaking of unlikely, the Kansas City Current finished dead last in the league just one year ago, and now they're only one game away from winning it all. Even after losing some of their best players to injuries, this is a team that has consistently found a way to win, including as an underdog in the semifinal round on the road against the Shield winning O.L. Reign. Hamilton looking, shooting, Hamilton! Can the current pull off the ultimate turnaround and bring home a title to Kansas City in just their second season? Or will the Portland Thorns return to the NWSL mountaintop for the first time in five seasons? We are in for an epic championship Saturday night in the district on CBS and Paramount Plus starting at 6.30 Eastern with universal pregame coverage. The NWSL Championship is set. Portland Thorns versus Kansas City Current. It'll be at Audi Field in Washington, D.C. Coverage begins at 6.30 p.m. on Paramount Plus with kickoff prime time, 8 o'clock on CBS and Paramount Plus. I'm your host, Lisa Roman, alongside former U.S. internationals Allie Wagner and Lori Lindsay. It has been a fairy tale season for Kansas City, finishing in last place just one year ago to entering the NWSL championship in just their second season. They do it by defeating Shield winners OL Reign 2 0. Lori, when you look at this Kansas City side, what makes them so special to watch in this championship? Yeah, I think it's um, their commitment to to their identity and to who they are, right? They have, you know, did well in the Challenge Cup early on the season and then had to weather some storms with injuries and COVID stuff in the beginning of the regular season, then went on a massive unbeaten streak and then just found their groove. And they have been such a joy to watch. And I think they've really latched on to the way they play, right? They're in a 3-5-2. You don't see a ton of teams uh, in this league play that. They've stuck with it. Um, they're fine with playing it. They can be disruptive at times, difficult to play. And I think there's just this entire commitment on both sides of the ball uh, from every single player, regardless of the starters to the players coming off the bench. And it, it has been such a fun team to watch throughout and then navigate some of the ups and downs. And one of the reasons why I think they went to Houston in the quarterfinals won there. One of the reasons why they went to Lumen Field in Seattle, beat the Shield winners um, convincingly in a way. I mean, they gave up some opportunities, but still hung in there. And so many players are really, you know, stepping up. You can talk about A.D. French, Kristen Hamilton. We've seen her do that with North Carolina prior to coming to Kansas City. So some players that are really stepping up and taking a hold of the team and, and driving them forward. Kansas City and leaving that OL ring game with 37 defensive clearances. That is insane. But they have to meet Portland Thorns, a, a team that defeated San Diego 2-1 to one to get back to the title game for the first time since 2018. They're looking for the club's third championship. Allie, when you look at this Portland side, what has gotten them up to this point? Yeah, you know, I think there were actually potentially question marks um, going into this matchup, right? Because, or this semifinal game, you have that bye week. A lot of times that does not benefit teams. We saw that be the case for OL Reign. They've just lacked that finishing quality um, because perhaps they were out of rhythm. And I think for Portland, they had, a, of course, those extenuating circumstances swirling about the club. So how is all that going to play into how they approach this match against San Diego, an expansion side that had nothing to lose? And they are the perennial power in Portland Thorns. So the pressure was on them. They had other extenuating uh, circumstances that was perhaps making this situation even more difficult. But what you saw is resiliency. And this is a team that went down one nothing, and they were able to obviously come back, tie things up at 1-1, got the result at 2-1, and we can talk about how that all unfolded. But 
I think the key factors for Portland is that they have a ton of scoring threats. They have a U.S. international in Sophia Smith that has led the way. She was one goal shy of tying Alex Morgan in the golden boot race. She had 14 goals on the season, but they were chipping in from all areas. You have Morgan Weaver, a really talented um, young front runner playing alongside her. In this case, really brave move by their manager. They sat Christine Sinclair, the all-time leading goal scorer in football, men's or women's, did not start the semifinal match. What does Rian Wilkinson do come final time? Does she continue in that same vein? Does she also, um, you know, does she believe in a young Yasmin Ryan who played really well and also can chip in goals? Uh, when you look at this Portland Thorn side as they go up against Kansas City, Allie, what's the X factor? Is it a player? Is it a game plan for this Portland side? What do they need to do to get the win? I actually think it could be depth. And you speak to, okay, who got that final goal for Portland to send them into this game? Well, it was Crystal Dunn, another U.S. international that played about 30 minutes in that match. This is a player coming back from maternity and, and had a massive, massive impact on the game and the minutes that she got. Lori, for you, when you look at Kansas City and, and everything that they've been able to do this year, I mean, we talked about it leading into the semifinal for, for the current, having that potential double pivot between Desiree Scott and Alex Luera. And defensively, this team got a shutout against Shield winners O.L. Reign. What's your X factor for Kansas City in the final? I think the X factor, you have to point to A.D. France. She's been fantastic the entire season. And that's what you need if you're going to look for um, um, or win a championship is a goalkeeper that's going to come up with some big saves for you, knowing that you potentially have people at the other end who can slot a goal um, in for you um, at the other end. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going with uh, A.D. French. I think she has to come up a big again. I, no doubt will she. Um, but also I, I would go with two. I think Alex Luera could be, and, and Al is going to laugh because she is a rookie, but she has been a difference maker in both of these uh, um playoff games and I think those two AD French Alex Luera could be a massive component in this game going forward but I'm gonna go with the third as well Kristen Hamilton she put a pass you she don't get pass. the read yeah I have to actually everyone up the spine give it to them but Kristen Hamilton I think she's gonna have to lead the way because depending on who's playing up there she has been a pass she was a handful against OL Reign and I don't actually think we've given her enough credit throughout this season and what she's done in terms of her off the ball work, allowing for other players to get on the scoreboard, drawing penalty kicks. So right down the spine for me. The, the only thing I want to add to that is that if we're talking about U.S. internationals, Alex Loetta, this is a player that I have called on for Vlad Leninovsky to bring into the fold. I think this is a really big moment for her. This is a massive test. If she can show up on this stage under this type of pressure and have a really big moment, I expect her to see her on, on future rosters. The most exciting match of the year, the NWSL Championship between Portland Thorns and Kansas City this Saturday. Kickoff at 8 o'clock. You can watch the pregame show starting at 6.30 on Paramount+. Plus. Allie Laurie, thank you so much. For more NWSL coverage, be sure to download, follow, and subscribe to Attacking Third for previews, recaps, and exclusive interviews.